It's a very sad day today because Master Ugwe is basically getting kicked off of YouTube. YouTube, what are you guys doing? I mean, this is not good. This is not good. So I'm basically just made. I basically just made this uh, 3D website for Master Ugwe. He's been a legend in the social social media game, and this is only a stepping stone. This is only a small hindering. Like uh, he will definitely get over it, and he will definitely push through. Maybe he will turn to live streaming but his memes is definitely a stable in internet history and he's definitely uh, left his mark so i just made this uh, quick free js website and it yeah you know what i'm not going to promote my own ebook whatever but uh, this is how i created it i basically loaded an stl model of master ugwe and then i created this overlay with css which uh, allows me to basically put text on the website so now this is basically the STL version. The STL model is spinning on the is actually not spinning, but it's it is spinning, but it's rotating on the on the x axis and the y axis. And it basically says Master Ugwe is leaving YouTube, students, and then he always had this template. If she, then you shall do something. So that was all. He always had this condition, and it was he was actually very good at impersonating. Uh, who is master? Who is the real master? Wait, but let's just get right into the code. Um, you guys can enjoy that for now. But let's just get into the code. This is how I actually created the, this uh, this model. So let's put it down here. I basically have one index.html. I like having these FreeJS project in just one file. It's just more organized. It, you don't really need to have a separate. Um, first of all, it's actually a very sad day today. So Master Ugwe, we basically titled the HTML uh, the HTML file, the title Master Ugwe, 3D goodbye for now, and then we made the style we made the style we put something in the style element. We have the body margin zero canvas display block. We can so we can basically see something. Then we have this overlay which allows us to actually like see any text on the screen. We have the body. We have Master Ugwe is leaving YouTube students if she that was his template for for his jokes uh, and then we basically get like uh, we basically get the whole c the whole free js package through these uh, through these uh, cdn links which allows us to basically get it from the web we don't have to install free js and we don't have to install the stl loader then we go through the setup this is where the main meat is this is where the main juice is squeezed this is where the well, this is where the machine is actually working this is a factory. This is where everything happens. This is where I keep my workers working. So for the setup, we basically created the scene with equal const scene equals new free, uh, free which is free JS scene. That is with this function. Const camera, we create a new free perspective camera with a field of view of 75. We take the windows in a width and in a height. And uh, we have also have the renderer, so we can basically render everything with the graphics um, and then we also set the pixel ratio and the set size to the window and then we basically append all of this to the document that body and that is what we created up here as you guys can see this is a body yes so if we append the scene camera and the render to the body the document that body we have the light we basically create an ambient light equals uh, new free js dot ambient light scene dot add ambient light uh, cons directional light equals new free directional light uh, directional light position dot set we basically normalize it and we add it to the scene every time you create a new component or anything a new, a new object a game object in free jazz you always have to remember to add it to the scene otherwise it's not going to be displayed in similar terms we have the stl model that is where i downloaded this master ugwe model uh, we get const loader equals new free free js dot uh, stl loader stl is just another 3d format or 3d model format we have the let smash we have the let mesh loader dot load uh, you find the path to your 3d model then you take the function geometry const material equals new free js dot mesh fun material uh, you put, you give it a color specular and shininess uh, mesh equals new free js that mesh geometry material mesh that position that set mesh that rotation that set mesh that scale that set 
mesh dot cast shadow equals true mesh dot receive shadow equals true and then we re remember what i said every time you create something in freejs you always have to remember to add it to the scene camera dot position dot z equals five that is just so we can actually see the freaking uh, what is it called uh, that is so we can actually see the model or the just so everything is so we have a great overview i basically set the camera position dot z so five we also have this add event listener every time we resize the window um you can actually set it to true so it will do it automatically um function dot on window resize yeah it basically does it uh, function animate uh, request animation frame and then animate there's a callback function if mesh which is this that we created up here this is a global variable if mesh is true or if it is if it's not null or if it exists then take the rot uh, the x rotation and rotate it with plus equals 0 0.01 and do it do it do the same with uh, with the rotation on the y axis and then we want to render that render scene scene and camera and then animate again and this is the final product so this is it guys thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please go and support master ugwe this has been absolutely this has been absolutely sad what am i saying man